Live, live, live. Are we here? Mm. Yes, we are live. Let's go, guys. Uh, Facebook online um, and YouTube. Yeah, live on YouTube. So welcome to today's session one more time. You can s the title of today is going to be a new one that I've never talked before. Uh, the, it's going to call Announce You a New Way to Stop Binge Eating. Announce You a New Way to Stop Binge Eating. So those who, who, are, who have this, the problems with binge eating disorder probably must have heard have must have heard a lot about um, the subject, of course, and um, probably tried so many things to to stop binge eating, but never worked. And because of that, they end up uh, not believing that anything else will work. So, you know, without any hope. And I know, and I know probably it, you don't believe as well. You know, almost anything that the promise, you know, a cure to binge eating. So something that you're not, never going to stop binge eating because you, you cannot see yourself not doing this anymore, right? But you're going to see here today examples of women who managed to get rid of it and, you know, get saw the results. These are results that they're looking for. Okay, so follow very closely because you're going to see today some, some of it that's really, you know, it's possible. Okay, so first let's talk about, uh, you know, maybe this, this, uh, this, this um, live is not for everybody. But let me just explain who is this for, okay? What I'm talking about here today. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of full. Um, so this is for those who feel, who has fear of hunger. For those who have current episodes of eating large quantities of food and often very, very, very quickly and, and you know, to the point to feel uh, discomfort. So this is for those who have binge episodes on average, you let's say once a week for three months. Even though you like, uh, you know, you're upset about binge eating. When you feel unable to stop eating, uh, you know, during the episodes, you're going to become a lot of feelings. So this is for women feel insecure, lack confidence, but want to take action rapidly. And, you know, go back to a bikini body, drop dress size, feel more energetic, more attractive, sexier. If you experience shame, distress, or guilt afterwards, and not regularly using unhealthy compensatory measures. Let's say, let's say you, you binge and um, you're not doing something health, healthy to, to after that. Normally, like, let's say purging. Let's say, you know, throwing up. So something really unhealthy normally, but when you have binge eating, is something unhealthy you do like right after to compensate what you, 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 you have done. You know, understand? So if that's you, if that's you, you're in the right place, okay? If you're upset about binge eating, that you have often, if you have these current episodes of binging once a week for at least three months, that's something more related with um, some eating disorders. No, if you have all the time fear of hunger, this could be, for you too. So like I told you, if that's you, you are in the right place. But let me ask you something really quick, okay? <coughs> if these are gonna, are gonna ask you guys right now, sounds like you, okay? Is shame 
is shame keeping you from getting the help you need? If not, if you're not asking for help because you feel that you feel shame. Hmm? So can you, let's say, can you recognize that you are doing what you're doing is unhealthy, unhealthy, it's it's not natural. But you feel unable to to resist the the compulsive urge to eat when it strikes. Because it can be you. If you if instead you find a way to 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 go like rational and the binge eating, you know, let's say after you stop, after you stop after the binge, uh, you never you never think you need some treatment. But if you if you all the time promise yourself, listen, this is my last time. I promise you, is the last one, and I'm gonna. You see, on the end, the start of the next month, you see, I'm not gonna do this anymore. So, I promise, and it's gonna help. It's gonna, you know, this is gonna happen the last time. How many times you wanna keep, you know, promise to yourself, and you know, after another binge, or you finally gonna seek treatment, like for real. Because if this sounds like you, you know, I have a good news for you. <coughs> uh, all the, um, so today we're going to show you one shift, okay? Something that can, you can do every day, all the time. Because this is something that all, all people that I know, they, you know, they came through all these. They don't, have, they don't binge anymore. This shift is something that all of them have it. Like I'm a, it's a hundred percent. It's a hundred. Ev everyone that I know has this mentality. This shift that you can do. It's something that you must make to get rid of binge eating. <coughs> Sorry. So, if it sounds like you, pay very close attention, okay? Because this shift we're gonna talk to you right talk to you right now. Uh, it's really important to you can really change your life. So first, how how I discovered uh, this shift. So about uh, 15 years ago, I felt I should have an answer for for this question about how to stop binge. So what I did, I decided I decided to look deeper and find out if possible what it was. Right. So why and with time i found the answer you know to bring peace of mind to many people and over the years i have passed this information for you know a lot of people to a number of people who have used you know with complete success so some of the things some of the this shift they're going to tell you right now so maybe you're going to be like, you know, what is this? What is he talking about? You know, can be, you can interpret as incorrect. I know. But however, this strategy brought the desired, result, desired results for those who simply was following these steps. Okay? So what I did, I just wanted to describe my discovery in the simple, in the simple steps terms possible because it, it reveal to you why is you know why is true about the whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can achieve there's a supreme secret so pay attention because it's not like a, oh you need to have a, a positive mental attitude okay you're gonna have it yeah, it's fine. I do. It's not that. It's, it's, it's like a, it's something deeper. But in the end of the day, if you don't do that, forget. Forget. You're not going to have peace of mind. You're not going to have this war. Because, you know, reg regardless how many times you may have failed in the past or how often, 
your angst and you know and the hope it may be you know like spike here you know so you know this is a lecture that you show you should never forget because it can change your entire life this shift can't change it what i'm going to do today is pull back the curtain and show you what these people who have success were doing that you probably were not okay so if you want i know listen listen i know i know i know you guys you know want want to know about how to lose weight fast how to stop binge fast how to break the binge cycle believe me you're going to get into that but these is very important because <coughs> if you don't do this shift, if you don't have the shift, you know, nothing else matters. You cannot go anywhere without this. And they're going to show you the connections for, for the shift. Okay, so the shift, the shift is you need to have a purpose. A purpose. Let's say definiteness of purpose okay purpose you know because if you don't have a definite purpose purpose with let's say with a positive mindset your chance of winning is kind of is zero that's why you see today a lot of people who never could uh, get rid of it never so you don't do you're gonna do if you don't do something about it now you're gonna be in that cycle and you don't know really be in that cycle. When I say purpose, you, you, uh, it's something I'm going to tell you, right, in a, f in, in a minute what you have to do. But it's something if you really do, really do, you're going to understand how, how is your mind is really powerful. So if you do, if you don't do something about it now, what, what's, what is she going to feel? How you feel now? I say, I know. You're gonna, you still feel, you feel deprived of food. You feel overwhelmed and urge to eat. You binge. You feel out of control and, uh, you know, and ashamed. You, you do a diet frequently, super restrict, and, uh, you know, you keep gaining weight. You gain weight. Yes, you know. So, what you need to do first, first, just do this. You have to do this every day. You can do this three times a day. Believe me, it works. It works. Fix your mind in the exact amount of weight you want to lose. Let's say you want to lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds. It's not, it's not sufficient matter to say, I, I want to lose weight. You need to say, how many pounds you want to lose? How many kilos you want to lose? And you can ask the day too. Like I wanna by by January, by March twenty of two thousand twenty-two, I want I want to I want to lose thirty pounds and stop being eating. So you have a numbers for how many pounds you want to lose and the date, the date limit. So, this is a purpose. If you keep talking that all the time, your, your, your mind is going to be, hmm, she's positive right now. So, fix, the fix your mind the exact amount of weight, you know, and the time limit you desire to lose. And hold your thoughts in the amount or you know, or in the time limit, by concentration, or fixation, or you know, fixation of attention. You can close your eyes until you you actually see the physical appearance that of uh, you know of you being the person that you want to be. The body that wanna you have the health. Just close your eyes. You know, you have to see yourself there. You have. You must. You know, because following this 
legitimate trick on your subconscious mind, you know, by making it believe, because you believe it, that you must have you know, all the health, the body that you're looking for. You know, you have to be positive because sometimes what we do, we just think about uh, our faith is just, you just think in the, in the things that you're afraid of. You know, think about it like if you're afraid of some sickness or if you're afraid of something, you, you keep thinking about that thing. That's going to, you know, you, you're having faith for <coughs> another side. Why you don't have a faith for the opposite, the right way? Because you're going to be positive. You're going to have, you know, your purpose. Because think about it. If you, when you speak about your failures, you know, or your lack of self-discipline, what are you doing? You simply direct your mind, your, your power of your mind, to attract these uh, undesirable circumstances for you. Because it's true, whatever your mind feeds upon, your mind attracts to you. So we have a choice because a negative mental attitude can bring you nothing but failure. You, 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 and you need a purpose because it's the same thing if you're studying but you have no idea what, what you want to do. Like, like why I'm doing the school? Because I don't know what I'm doing. But if you have a goal, let's say you want to be an entrepreneur <coughs> or if you want to be a doctor, it doesn't matter. But if you have this, this, you know, this desire, and then your mind can make this happen. So I just want to, you know, I uh, want to stop being G, but you, you, you really don't believe in yourself that you can do that. Because you, you believe that you can. That's what you believe right now. <coughs> but, you know, you own your mind. You have total control over your mind, 100%. So if you keep doing these every day, you know, changing, you know, focus. It doesn't matter anything during the day but your purpose, like focus on your purpose. That's your want, that you're looking for, go for it. Because if you, do, if you don't do that, you know the penalties you must pay, right? You health, fear and worry about food, about hunger, indecisions and doubt about you know what to do and never do nothing, frustration, you know, discouragement through your life. You'll be hungry all the time, negative mental attitude, jealousy, anger, hatred, superstition, everything. But if you believe if you believe that you go, you, you, you're going to make this happen, you have the purpose. You're always like, my purpose is this. My, this is my purpose. I want to lose this weight. I want to be healthy because, you know, my health's not good. I, I want to live 30 years more. This is important for me. To so concentrate there is, is for you to live more and healthier. This is the list of blessings if you, if you, if you, if you do it. going to have health, your health back. Because let's say something first for you. Like I told you, if you believe, you can find your greatness. Look, if you like food, but you're avoiding food, and I understand, but look, food is medicine. Food is social. Food is comfort. Food is fuel. Hear your relationship with, you know, with food by normalizing eating behaviors and gaining freedom around all foods. You, you, you have to understand if food can help you cure. Help, food can help you. Because I'm saying when, when you have a lot of binge eating, um, I know you'll be like, a, you know, super restrict doing diets, and like I told you in the beginning. And not eating for two days, three days, you know, you don't want this for you. But I was telling you the list of blessings if you, if you do this every day, if you're thinking of purpose, if you 
don't think in negative stuff during the day. Just, you know, focus only in positive. Because if you don't think you're, gonna, you're not going to lose weight or <coughs> stop binging or get your goals, you won't. This is impossible. I was uh, reading another day about um, only uh, people, athletes, who won the Olympics and uh, with gold medal. Uh, they, the, the, the ask them, uh, was the most important thing to do that the, the training, everything they do before the Olympics? <coughs> Everyone says mental. The mental is more important. That's what makes a difference. So it's something that you own. Because treatment of, of binge eating disorders is something challenging, but because most of people feel ashamed of their disorder and try to hide the problem from everyone. It, you know, can be so successful in, in high that, you know, close friends normally don't know they binge. But if you do that, like I told you, look at the list of blessings. Health, gonna have your health back, peace of mind, your social life back, <coughs> higher self-esteem, gonna have freedom from fear and food, uh, gonna have more positive mental attitude, you're gonna wear the clothes you love, gonna eat the food you love, you know, uh, you're gonna start to have fun and you're gonna get leaner, fitter, happier. That's the list of blessings. Because, you know, until you become consciously, you know, aware of how the binge cycle works, you know, and are able to identify what stage you're in, you know, you'll be like, let's say, nearly impossible to pull yourself out of it by yourself. In this part, you'll need a professional help. Because you're going to be able to understand and identify what stage you are of your binge. <laughs> you know, and step by step, getting back, you know, to normal. You just have to remember that you are where you are and what you, you know, and what you were because of your mental attitude. If you relate yourself to other people. Your mental attitude is the, is the one and the only one, only thing over you, you know, you have complete control. You have 100% of control. And we know there's no luck. There's no such a thing as luck. You know, but luck is something that, you know, we can create. If you, if we, if you know and, and follow the rules, and, you know, it's, it's not something possible. But, you know, how can I help you guys with binge eating? How can I do that? So my team and I, we have set aside some time um, for you guys uh, to call. We're going to call you for you guys and speak with you personally about how you can apply these ideas, you know, for you starting today. So on this call, uh, take around, it um, can be 30 minutes, can be 45 minutes. But they're gonna, gonna, you know, gonna tell you the step by step, uh, the game plan to hit your goals. All right, and the cost of the call is free. The cost is free, but this is the catch. Here's the catch: the, it's not for everyone. Okay, if you if you're gonna call you, make sure you're gonna be uh, decisive and committed. Ugh. Decisive and committed. If, you, if you're coachable and resourceful. If that's you, you should book a session now. Okay? What are you going to do? Uh, here on the, on the comments, um, has, a, has a link. So click on the link. You're going to be able to book a call with me or with Guilherme. And, uh, you know, I'm going to see how can I help with that. In the other hand, if you're like, mm, Sergio, I don't know if, you know, if I'll be committed, I don't know, you know, I have to talk better. Okay, it's not for you and it's okay. Don't worry about it. But if you feel this is for you, 
book a session now. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can help you because we've been there, we know everything about it, and uh, I know how to help you. Okay, so don't forget, click in the link and book a session because they're gonna call you. All right, thank you so much. One more time, have a great, great, great day, great week, great weekend, and see you next time. Boom. Cadê você? Vai rir, vai rir.